Hey animal lovers! If you are a returning subscriber and missed the video before this one, you may be surprised about this random rabbit haul video. If you don't want to go watch the previous video first, long story short, I'm getting rabbits. Anyway, in today's video I will be giving a closer look at everything I got for my first ever pet bunnies. I am so lucky to have so many bunny platforms online to help me know what to get for bunnies and what the best things are so that I don't waste my money on what turns out to be bad or wrong. So I hope that what I got is good and safe. I sure have watched a lot of care videos and every topic involving rabbits during my research into rabbit care. Before we get started, I want to let it be known that some of these things, including the cage itself, are only for now and for starting out because this is not a permanent location and it is sort of a small space so I did have to get smaller things for now like smaller litter boxes and hay feeders it is however still the minimum recommendation for a couple of small bunnies I personally prefer to go bigger than the minimum when I can and for now I can't I literally just bought the cheapest things I could find of all that I need for starting out with rabbits I think this video can be really helpful to people looking to get rabbits and what to get and do for starting out and starting out in a small area. I will leave links to things I got. The main places that I got most of this stuff from is Amazon and Walmart. And you could get a version of everything here from those two places, but there are a few other places I went to in order to get more for my money. I do like to find the cheapest option of the same product. I do also like to go secondhand shopping for finding even cheaper alternatives, but I was kind of in a hurry to get things this time because of an available rabbit that I couldn't pass up. So wasn't able to wait and find cheaper things. I don't have everything in that's coming in the mail yet. I will still show everything in this video, It'll just be on different days. So let's get into what I have so far today. So I'm going to start with bedding. For bedding, I got some pelletized bedding, horse pine pellets. For the base, these two containers will be the litter boxes. And these I will make hay feeders to be in there, cut like a hole. So yeah, pretty small for now. And then um, this Care Fresh I will put on top of the pellets. These bins I got from Walmart. This I got from Tractor Supply. And this I got from PetSmart. And that's pretty much it for litter boxes. <laughs> Moving on for the flooring, I got these puzzle piece mat things. <laughs> I got ones with like a wood floor look on them. That is to add some extra cushioning to the floor and to um, keep the carpet clean, I guess. These blankets, fleece throw blankets, I got to put over the flooring or other things. One of these will actually cover this whole area because it's 50 by 60 inches, which is like 4 feet by 5 feet. And the pen will be 4 feet by 4 feet. It's always good to have extra fleece. I actually got this one to make snuggabuns out of. This flooring I got off Amazon and these fleeces I got from Walmart. For cleaning supplies, I bought this water bottle that I will fill with water and vinegar. And then I got a dustpan for like picking up poo and hay and also for the bonding process, keeping fighting at bay if that happens. I bought these on Amazon. So far for emergency, I got Critical Care. It's uh, strawberry and banana. And then I got a set of several different sizes of syringes for giving this. I'm also thinking about getting simethicone, like infant's gas relief, because I heard that's a good thing to have along with critical care for like helping with GI stasis. So I'll go ahead and link that in the description along with these items because other people should get it too along with critical care. I got both of these off Amazon. So far for grooming supplies, I got these rubber brushes. There's a brush coming in the mail still and I'll go ahead and put a picture of that brush on the screen because it's going to take too long to get here. I heard it's a really good brush and I might get another brush still that a lot of people use for rabbits. 
Anyway, and then I got these nail clippers. I got these off Amazon. For chews so far, I got these grass mats. And then I got the rabbit version of a box of chocolates. <laughs> so several different types of chews. And then I got some willow sticks. Again, for chewing. And I got some a baby toy, stacking cups. There's actually a lot of bunny pictures on here. <laughs> I saw a really cute video of a bunny playing with these. So I thought I might get them and hopefully at least one of the bunnies I get uses them. <laughs> I got all of these on Amazon. For dishes, I got some little dishes for water. And I'm not sure yet if these will be big enough. I'm not sure yet how much water they will be drinking. I also got a couple plates for putting it greens and veggies on. I got these from Walmart. For some treats, I got this Naturals Nature Salad and these banana and strawberry fruit crisps. Not sure how safe these are. I know that some of the ingredients in here are safe, definitely. I'm just not sure about all of them, but hopefully it's all right. This is just dried banana and strawberry. The only ingredients are bananas and strawberries. These are both from Walmart. For hay, I got some organic meadow hay, botanical hay, and oat hay. It's good to give rabbits a variety of hays. These would be like kind of treat hays, I guess, to add in for some variety. Their main hay I have yet to get, and it will be Timothy slash orchard grass. So yeah, that's five different hays. And I don't think I will be giving my rabbits pellets. Kind of want to keep things natural. <laughs> But the rabbits I'm getting are probably used to pellets, or at least a little bit of pellets a day, so I, I'm not sure yet what I'll end up doing for pellets, but I got these on Amazon. Going to the fridge, I did buy some greens and veggies, so what I got this time is some Brussels sprouts, a cabbage, some romaine lettuce, and a spring mix. I hear bunnies aren't really a big fan of spinach, but hopefully mine like it. <laughs> anyway, that's what I've got for greens and veggies this time. Okay, this is a different day, and I have here their pen, which is four feet by four feet and three feet high. It has a door and another opening option next to the door, which kind of makes two doors, and that's great for dividing it. And I got this from Amazon. And lastly, I made some hides and some fun stuff, I guess, <laughs> out of the boxes that some of this stuff came in. So here's one of them. Cut a front door and then a side hole. Because rabbit houses should have two openings. If those openings are too small, I will cut them bigger, but I don't know how big the rabbits will be yet. I also did this one two round holes. Doesn't have a back because I have another one here and it was one box that I cut in half. <laughs> so this one has holes on both sides instead of on the front. And this one I think will just be like a fun one to put in the, like a play area. But yeah, these two I will put in this pen for each rabbit. That is if I end up getting both rabbits at the same time. For the open back, I was thinking I would just lean it up against a wall and that would be good. And then I just made some random things that I came up with. <laughs> just something random that probably won't work, but I thought I could just jump through these holes. Again, something to put in like a play area. Then I just used these cutouts to do that. <laughs> I don't know, it might be a toy, not sure yet. <laughs> All right, well that's everything, and give this video a like if it was helpful to you, and if you want to see more bunny videos in the future, check out the next video when it comes out. It will be the setting up of all of this, and yeah, thanks again for watching. God bless, bye.